Yeah, the Shy technology is, in fact, the, the next big evolution of the interaction with an interface. Uh, it's an interface that you can uh, fill, and not only because there is an haptic feedback inside, but simply because we can integrate the Shy technology into a wood or into a furniture that give us also the possibility to reduce the number of switches we have inside the car. And perhaps one of the most important thing is that uh, the user can decide how he wants to interact with the user interface. So a really simple example here is uh, with a music player. So I can draw a note on the surface of my seat uh, and the music starts. Then I can adjust the volume with two finger. I can change the music and can uh, stop the system with three finger. But I decide where I want to interact with the car. So the the BMW uh, systems are multimodal. That means that you can interact with the car uh, with a speak interaction or on the steering wheel or remotely uh, on the iDrive. With the ShyTech, we simply want to to give the possibility. Uh, to the user uh, to have a new, a new interaction, uh, but we don't want to reduce or to replace all the other system. It's simply a new art of interaction with the car that we want to propose with the other interaction we have already in, inside the BMW cars. Yes, yeah, the Shy technology gives us the possibility to hide a little bit the user interface and that gives us at the same time the possibility to completely new redesign the interior of a car. Uh, and the Vision iNext uh, we called uh, my favorite space. It's a complete new idea of designing an interior of the car.